I'm kind of being tight. The, uh, the WTO is, is a complete non-starter. It, it it's just should not ever have been on the agenda. It, 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 it's a workaround that goes with other agreements. <clears throat> so basically we're looking since the so these great luminaries, Nigel Lawson and these other experts who've said, oh, we should just fall back on WTO rules. This is all for the birds, is it? it, it I, I could not be more emphatic on this, that, that, that it is a complete non-starter. Apart from the fact that you have uh, the problem of non-tariff barriers, the single market and access, uh, it's difficult using the word access. You're either in the single market or you're not in the single market. You don't have access to it. You have access to the uh, markets of the member states if you're outside the single market, but you're either in the single market or you're not. Now, if you're not in the single market, then not only do you have to have regulatory convergence, a specific and special aspect of the single market is the assumption of conformity. In other words, not only do you conform, but it is assumed that you conform, hence the CE market and all the other systems that go around it. Now, the moment you step outside the single market, you have the burden of what is known as proof of conformity. And that requires, if you become a third country, that requires at the border actually demonstrating proof of conformity. Now, that actually is a different system, and that means that if you do not have a recognised system for proving conformity, which you won't have if you're relying on WTO agreement, then your produce is automatically detained until such time as you have gone through approved checks, which can take several weeks and cost several thousands of pounds of pay consignment. Which means that the day after we leave the EU, Operation Stack goes into effect uh, in, in Kent, and by the end of the week, the M1, slow lane, and uh, the. I'm not against pressing Article 50 because our counterparties will know that Operation Stack is then only two years away. <laughs> uh, and, and they're going to think to themselves, uh, well, we'll just wait till we're in a much stronger position than the motorway system in the south east of England seized up. Is this your... It's, it's a monster. It's, it's just... A, you see... So it, therefore, we can't afford to press the Article 50 button until we have some idea what, what the exit route's going to be from... Uh, to, to something that is more than just an EPO rule. That's what I, I, I would tend to agree, but if I may modify that... The, 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 I, just, I, just I, I've tried to summarise what you're saying. So yes, uh, basically, WTR is right a non-starter. Um, okay. And this is the Patrick Minford view as well, as I recall. Well, I'm yeah, 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 agreeing with something. Um, the, um, the other point that's actually already come up, you, you, you referred to it, is, is the idea that we don't have trade agreements, say with China or the United States or with uh, Australia and, and such things. We do. The United States registered, are registered on the uh, Commission Treaty website, you can check it yourself, uh, are there are 38 trade agreements registered with the United States. The fact is that they're not trade agreements registered with the WTO on tariffs, but they are nonetheless trade agreements and they do facilitate trade to an enormous extent. There are 65 registered agreements with China, including cooperation agreements and a whole range of multilateral and uh, bilateral agreements related to change. Now, a crucial part of this to gain access to member state markets are MRAs, but not MRAs on regulatory issues, but MRAs on conformity assessment. And that's an absolute crucial distinction. Okay. which means that we agree on regulatory conformity, but then we agree to recognise each other's systems to attest that the produce conforms with the regulation in order to get access at the border. Okay, well, Without that, there's no trade.